What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at a Casio men's classic quartz watch with resin strap in black, 20 millimeters with Arabic numerals and white face I picked up using Amazon Prime for $13.37. Out of five stars, it gets four and a half. Out of 2,439 customer reviews, Today I figured we would do a little bit of an unboxing and take a first look at it. Watches growing up were some of my favorite things to play around with. I loved a nice timepiece, whether it be a Seiko watch or something like a Casio G-Shock. I loved watches growing up. So today I figured we would maybe uh, take a look back on my childhood and mess around with this Casio quartz watch. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the box. So if we just take a look at the box here, we can see that it is blue with white Casio lettering with a white outline. Looks like it came straight out of the 80s. I'm sure they designed their logo in the 80s to look like this and it still holds true to this day. Uh, if we actually flip the box around to the other side, we can see that it's a white background with blue Casio lettering instead of white Casio lettering with a blue background. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, the box looks really easy to get into. In fact, it just opens right up. This is probably the most pleasant unboxing experience I've had thus far on the channel. Nothing else comes in the box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just lift off this plastic wrappering to show off the watch. Now, uh, kind of a mistake that I made was not realizing how big 20 millimeters is and being a watch person I probably should have known that and actually I did know that but for some reason I just bought this watch off the cuff. Uh, it is a little bit on the smaller side. I am someone who typically would go for something like a 44 millimeter watch or maybe a 40 millimeter watch like the Apple Watch uh, Series 5 is 40 and 44 millimeters. Uh, the Apple Watch Series 3 came in a 40 millimeter, that was the biggest size at that time, and I would always go for the biggest size. So, seeing a 20 millimeter uh, might be just a little bit too small for me, but uh, let's go ahead and just take off that plastic piece there. And as you can see, it's actually a really good looking watch, and I love the fact that it came on this stand. It makes presenting it that much easier. So you do get the Arabic numerals there. Uh, it is working straight out of the box. And um, I believe it is plus or minus 20 seconds uh, per month. So expect it to be 20 seconds ahead of schedule or 20 seconds behind schedule uh, roughly every month. So at the end of each month, that's quite a long time, 20 seconds. So you might want to reset it every month or maybe every couple of months. Um, that being said, the battery is good for two years. According to uh, Amazon's website, this watch is a movement from Japan, which I really like. Uh, I do have some Seiko watches. Uh, excuse me, I have a Seiko watch. Uh, I did feature it on this channel once, but I think I took the video down uh, just because I wasn't too happy with it. But as we can see, the watch just comes right off its stand there. And let's go ahead and just cut off this Casio tag there and put it off to the side. And as you can see, it is just ultra thin. Uh, so really cool, really like the style. It's stainless steel on the back and it's water resistant. Uh, doesn't say how far it is water resistant to, but it does have a Japanese movement and um, the case was made in China. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, maybe I'll do like a water resistant test where I'll dunk it or maybe run it under some water for you guys and show that it still works. Uh, Without further ado, right now it's reading, right now it's reading um, 210 and it's currently 107, so it's actually off by basically an hour. Uh, it should be as simple as uh, popping off the crown and the second hand just stopped and then popping out the crown one more stop, or no, I, actually I've already got it figured out. Pretty easy to uh, figure out. So far, uh, moving the crown, getting the hands to move around is a little bit cumbersome. That's okay, so it's uh, currently 107, so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, set this to about 
uh, 108. If I can get the crown to move good enough. There we go. So if you can just, you know, really move it around, you kind of have to do it with two fingers. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm using both fingers, my index finger and my thumb, to sort of control the hand movement. You can't simply just uh, wind the crown around with your index finger. Uh, so we'll go ahead and snap it back into place, let the second hand run, and that is pretty much the setup process for this Casio watch. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and strap it on my wrist here and show you guys what it looks like on the wrist. Uh, it is 20 millimeters. It might actually be a little bit too small for my wrist. As you can see, I'm basically at the very end here. Maybe I didn't think this through well enough, but I figured I would review it anyways because I just thought it was a really stylish, cool looking watch. And then let me give you a better idea of 20 millimeters up close. So pretty decent looking watch as you can see. Just very simple, a white face with black Arabic numerals and uh, a black resin strap. It's extremely thin. And uh, the fact that it's got a two year battery life and is off plus or minus 20 seconds a month is not too bad. And uh, overall, really like this watch. It's uh, something that I will keep around even though it really doesn't fit. Maybe I'll send it back just due to the fact that the strap isn't big enough or maybe I'll take it to the flea market and uh, pick up a new strap for it. If you guys would like to see a video like that, let me know in the comment section below. For now, this has been the Casio Men's Classic Quartz Watch with Arabic numerals and white face in 20 millimeters with black resin strap. It gets four and a half out of five stars. Really like this little watch so far. It's only 1337, gets four and a half out of five stars out of like 2,500 customer reviews or something ridiculous like that. Anyways, I ordered it using Amazon Prime, making it a convenience good. Uh, it got here within just a couple of days. Amazon Prime, even though there has been an outbreak, a, a health disaster basically around the world, Amazon Prime has been absolutely fantastic with getting items here on time. They're, they might be just a couple of days off, but for the most part, they're doing an excellent job. And you know, I can't recommend ordering off Amazon Prime enough if you're someone who is skeptical about going to a store. Uh, they have all kinds of great products online. Just know what you're getting yourself into. 20 mil is a bit of a smaller type of watch. I should have known that getting into this. And for that reason alone, you know, it doesn't fit all that great, but it fits. And all, I think all that I really need to do is just go to the flea market and pick up a larger strap for it. Shouldn't be a big deal. I shouldn't have a problem finding another strap for it. In fact, I'll check Amazon after making this video. So when you got, anyways guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this first look at the Men's Casio Watch. My name is John. If you like this type of content, hit that like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.